Hello and welcome to the Legend Sport Channel. I'm Joe. Today we're going to be looking at Blue Zone Hockey from Lamborn Games. It's sold by Alzat Games in the UK. Uh, I ordered a print and play version, so a PDF version. And uh, the interesting thing about this game is that it doesn't come with any season. So basically you're on the hook to, buy, to um, create your own seasons. Uh, luckily, that is not very difficult to do. You just need basically the statistics from the season that you're playing and the breakdown of the goal scorers, and that will allow you to actually generate a team sheet. So uh, just to kind of go over what you get when you purchase the game. So obviously, here is the, here is the manual. So this is, this is a, a key thing. It's very short. This is, a, this is not a very complicated game. It's about six pages of rules, so nothing, nothing overly complicated. You will need a deck of cards, just a standard deck of cards, and uh, you split them up into black and red. So, uh, and I'll explain why here in a moment. You'll get some, uh, some sheets here. So this one, the match card sheet, will allow you to set, you know, how, how many cards match cards the teams get and then you also have some dice triggers so uh, you, when you roll dice if you roll an 11 it could be a home injury a 22 would be an away injury and so on um, penalties and then half chance and chance and I'll talk about that in a second and we have a penalty chart and a timing chart and we also have a rebound chart so the rebound chart basically sometimes you'll get a, uh, a rebound on a shot off one of the, the chance or half chance cards and then that would indicate that you would need to go to the rebound chart and sometimes you end up having to go to the um, rebound two chart as well. So it's really not an overly complicated game. Here are our teams. So I'm going to play the 1951 Detroit Red Wings and uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. So the Leafs won the cup that year and Detroit actually was the first team to win 40 games in a season. It was a 70-game season back then. Uh, but they got upset by Montreal in the playoffs, so they didn't make the the uh, cup final. And Toronto, which won 41 games to Detroit's 44, actually took the cup that year. So we got some, some, uh, some Hall of Famers in action in this one, and uh, I'll show you how. Hopefully we'll get some goals, and I can show you how, you, how we resolve all that. You need some di some dice, so you'll need um, a couple of D6s in different colors and a couple of D10s. Uh, the D10s really only come into play when you're determining who scored a goal, but the, the D6 will drive the drive the action. Okay. The other thing you'll get as a PDF is a, is a series of cards that you will need to print and cut. So these are half chance cards. So half chance cards basically are. Um, scoring opportunities that aren't great scoring opportunities. So, you know, uh, you need to get a little bit lucky to score on a half chance card. Um, and then you also have a full chance card, and this is the full chance card. And as you can see on the full chance card, your, your chance of scoring is actually much higher. So the way this works is we, um, you, you set, you have 54 of each card half chance and chance you you randomly sh set them into six different decks of nine cards each and then the die the dice will activate which card so if i were to roll so let's say red is our trigger and the white is the uh, determining die so if i rolled a red five that would be a half chance and then whatever is on the white die will determine which um which pile or deck of half chance cards i use so I just laid them out in a one, two, three, four, five, six type thing. And you can actually see this is uh, four, five, six here. And one, two, three are off camera. And the chance cards are on this side. They're also off camera. So I wanted to kind of, um, I'll show the cards as I'm playing, but I wanted to just kind of keep it, keep it simple here for, um, and zoomed in a little bit for the explanation itself. So what I will do is first thing we need to do to start playing the game is figure out how many match cards each team gets. Okay, so we use our match card sheet here. 
and I have a little score sheet that I'm just going to keep by hand. So if we look at our teams, if we look at our teams, you have um, here, you would have the home goals for and against and away goals for and against. So I'm going to put Detroit as the home team. So we will use their home goals for, which is 3.57, and Toronto's away goals allowed, which is 2.11. So you would add those together, and 3.57 plus 2.11 is 5.68. And so then you would look on here, and you see 5.68 would fall between 5.51 and 5.85, so they would get 15 cards. Okay, so then I would take my black deck and, well, let's go with red So this, since this is Detroit. And I just count out 15 cards. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is Detroit's, Detroit's deck. And then the Leafs will use the, uh, the black cards. So then we do the same thing with Toronto. So Toronto, we look at their away goals for, which is 2.97. And um, Detroit's home goals allowed, which is 1.66. So 2.97 plus 1.66 is uh, 4.63. So then we look on here for 4.63, and we see right here 4.46 to 4.8. They get 12 cards. But because they are the road team, we take two cards out for home, home ice advantage. So they're actually going to get 10 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, 10. Okay. So that's our play deck right there. We put the rest of the cards off to the side because we don't need them. Now I will shuffle these together, um, to mix them up and then we will begin play. We are ready to go. So we, first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll to see, uh, whether Al Rollins or Turk Broda start for Toronto. So I'm going to use, um, the white as the uh, the first digit and the blue as the second digit. So we get a zero zero, which would be a hundred, I guess, and that will be um, Turk Broda. So Turk Broda will get the start for um, Toronto. So we have Sawchuk and uh, Broda. Just for, just for, you know, just for the, the note that, that those are our goalies. All right, so to play, all we do is roll dice, right? We roll a die. Okay, so we get a 32. Now, a 32, um, three always means it means a penalty. So when you get a penalty, uh, the first thing you have to do is the two indicates that it's a home team penalty. So that means it'll be a red wing going in. Um, but you also have to use the three to go through the cards. So what you do is you'll take the first two. If it's three, you always take one less than whatever the die roll is, and you put them on the bottom. So you take two and put them on the bottom. Then you flip the next one, and it's red. Okay. Now, in a lot of cases, the color will matter. In this one, it really doesn't, um, only because we, we know that this is going to be a, a penalty on um, Detroit. So we're going to put that card out. That's our timing device. Okay. So basically we're about a minute into the game. Now we know that we have a power play for um, Toronto. So you can just do something like this if you want to denote that we have a power play and Detroit is shorthanded. Typically I don't use it because I can remember it's really simple, um, but we'll use it here just for, just for the sake of being an example. Okay, so now we roll again and we get a three and a six. So this is actually another penalty. And what we do here is we, do, again, we take two and we put them on the bottom. And the third one gets, you would be able to look at it and see red, but it's going out. So that's two cards now played. And um, 12 cards is, is, a, is a period. So once we hit 12 over here, that's the end of the first period. Okay, so now this actually flips it and... Um, Detroit gets a power play, so we would assume that that meant that the um, the Toronto power play was killed off. And I rolled a 36 again, so we get another penalty. Same thing. We take two cards, put them on the bottom, flip the next one over. Well, we don't need to flip it because it doesn't matter. 
And so it's still going to be a, a Detroit power play. So now we roll again and we get a 41. So when you get a four, that actually doesn't do anything. That's pretty much the only, tri what, we, what I call the trigger card, trigger roll rather. That's the only one that doesn't do anything. So we're going to take three and we're going to put them on the bottom. And then we're going to flip the, we would flip this and see it's red again, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, because nothing happens. If we get a five, that's a half chance. If we get a six, that's a full chance. Um, ones that aren't doubles, so one one is an injury, but one two and one you know one two through one six is nothing. So we roll again. And speak of the devil, we actually rolled a one two. So again, you just take the top card and throw it out. Um, nothing happening here. And we get another penalty, 3-2. I forgot to take this off. That's why I don't use it, because I forget to take it off. 3-2, <laughs> um, so this is a penalty on Detroit. So again, we go two cards to the bottom, and we put one out. Um, and that one was red as well. Um, so now Toronto is on the power play. And we rolled a 54, so we get a chance now. Okay, so now we would go with one, two, three, four. So it's this pile, and then we flip our um, half chance card. And this one says, pass along the boards, picked up by attacker. So now we're going to roll the dice, and you add two. Okay, so that's why it goes to 14, because we're adding two, because we're on the power play. So a 1 to, one to 7 won't score, an 8 to 10 won't score, but 11 to 14 will be a goal. Okay, and it gives you a little play-by-play -play of what actually happens. So we're going to roll again. Oh, wait, let me, uh, now normally, if we weren't on a power play, so we've got to take our four cards and put them on the bottom, and then we take the fifth and flip it, and this would tell you, the color would tell you which team has the scoring opportunity. Because it's a power play, it doesn't matter, it's always the, always the team that's on the power play. So that goes out, and how far in are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're about halfway through the first period, a little bit, a little beyond halfway. So I rolled a nine. So a nine. Oh, did I? Did I? No. Yeah, I did roll. So that was a nine. Um, let me roll again because I don't remember if I rolled or not. So I rolled a ten. So a ten is still not going to be a score. It's a backhander into the slot intercepted. So then you would put this card out as being used um, just so that you're not going to use the same cards over and over. Although, the, honestly, the chances on the cards don't vary all that much. It gives you some flow as far as the play-by-play -play goes. Okay, so now we just continue play. Nobody's on a power play. We get a 26, which is nothing. We get a 33, which again is a penalty on Detroit. Um, and I forgot to move cards. So we, do, we, we had a 26, and then we had a 30. Um, yeah, right. Okay. So, um, now we roll again. So Toronto's on the power play. Another penalty. So this again, take two, put them in the bottom, take the next one out. That I believe is now 10 cards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep. That's 10. So we only have two cards left. And we rolled a 16, which is still nothing. So we just put a card out. Last card of the period. And a 21, which is nothing. So we have no score in the first period. Okay. Um, my dice aren't really cooperating very well. All right. So we go to the second period now. We rolled an 11. So that's an injury chance. Okay. So on an injury chance... We roll a single die, so I'll roll the white one. A one, two, or three will be an injury to a minor player, which will have no effect. Four or five will be an injury to a key player, and so you would add a match card to the other team. And this is 11 is a home team injury, so this would be an in injury on their wings. So I would add a card from the red, no, from the black deck to, um, to this deck. To, it, to indicate that, you know, Toronto is going to be a little bit stronger because a key player is out. Um, the same thing with six. If I roll a six, then Toronto actually gets two cards. And we rolled a one, so that's no effect. Okay, so um, that was the end of the period, right? 
and that was the start of the second period, sorry. So I have to take the card and put it out. And we move on. We rolled a 42, that's nothing, but we still have to do one, two, three to the bottom, and one out. Okay, and we roll again, we get a 21. Again, that is nothing, one to the bottom, one out. Uh, 25, again, nothing, one to the bottom, one out. 22, so this could be an away injury, so same thing, we roll one die, we got a three, that's no, it's a minor injury, no effect. Okay, um, so with the injury, we had to put uh, one under and one out. And a 15 is nothing, we put one out. 65. Okay, so now you're going to see an example of what happens in uh, even strength play, what happens when we get a full chance. So I'm going to take five cards, put them to the bottom, flip the sixth card. It's red. So this is a red wings chance. Okay, so we draw, um, we drew, it was a five, so we go one, two, three, four, five. This is pile five. We flip, oops, we flip our card. Okay, this is a quick break two on one. So it, a 1 to 6 is nothing, but if I roll a 7 to 12, then it's going to be a goal. So we're going to roll, and it's a 10, so that is a goal for the Red Wings. Okay, now we need to figure out who scored the goal, and for that we use our two D10s, and we get a 92. So that's going to be pretty far down the roster here. So what we do in this case is we look, <clears throat> excuse me, here. And 92 is Glenn Skov. Okay. So, <clears throat> so second period, um, Detroit, Skov. Then to figure out the timing, what you do is there's a there's a chart for that, right? We would have to count our match match cards and figure out the time. So I need to count my match cards, and I didn't actually so we know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That was the first period. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this was the seventh card of the second period. So 7 on here is 10 minutes, okay? And then we roll the two die again, and we add 7 seconds to that. So the goal was scored at 10.07. 10.07. Um, I should, I should hold that because I, I might have an assist here. So now we roll for assists. And we got an 18, so that would be Sid Abel. And we'll roll for a second assist, and we got a 23. So 23 is also Abel, so that's just Abel getting one assist. So Skav from Abel at 10.07. And it is now one nothing Detroit, and we go back to regular gameplay. Okay, we got another one, six and four. Okay, so again, we go one, two, three, four, five to the bottom, flip, another Red Wings chance. It's four, so one, two, three, four. We pull this out. This is a really good chance, actually. Slap shot from right circle. So unless it's a four or less, it's going to be a goal. It's a seven, so that is another goal for the Wings. So again, we repeat the process. Okay, we figure out who are who scored. 40. So 40 is Red Kelly. So we know it's Kelly. Now we'll roll for the assist. Uh, 80. 80 for an assist is Goldham. And 80 again, so just one assist. And then... We count our cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards. Eight on here is 1140, 1140. So we roll this, uh, 34. So we add four, uh, 34 seconds to 1140 is 1214. So that one was scored at 1214 of the second period. And Detroit has put two past Turk Broda and now leads 2 nothing here in the second. We have... Uh, Six cards left, five cards left. Um, but six in the, no, four in the period. 
Okay, so we rolled double threes, so that's going to be another penalty on the wings. So we have to take two, move them to the back, turn, th throw one out. That was a black one, actually. Okay, so Toronto is on the uh, power play, and they're gonna, 64. They're going to get a they're going to get a scoring chance here. So this is a little weird now. So you have four cards left. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and then you flip. Okay, so it's red, which would be a Red Wings chance, but it's on the power play. So this is going to be a uh, chance for the home team. The uh, I'm sorry, the the. <laughs> The road team, the red win, the <laughs> woo, the maple leaves. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, so here we go. Now remember, they get a bonus of two here. So basically, unless they roll a three, this is going to be a goal. They roll a seven, so that is a goal. That would be partial stop by goalie. Puck trickles in goal. Okay, so. Now we have a Toronto goal to take care of. So again, we roll to see who it is. 75. 75 for Detroit is Lewicki. And we'll check the uh, assists. 40. 40 is Sid Smith. So S Smith. And then we'll see if there's a second one. 04 is Max Bentley. And we roll. So we're going to add a minute seven. I think we're 10 cards in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, 10. Okay, 10 cards in. So the timing says 15 minutes, and we add a minute seven. So that's 16.07. Lots of action here in the second. It is at now a uh, two to one lead for the wings. And we resume our action here. So we got a 12, which is nothing. So we throw one card out. And we're down to our last card for the period now. Um, and we rolled a 23, which is also nothing. So we would go one, two, <laughs> and throw this card out. And that is the end of the second period. So in that period, Toronto got one. Detroit got two. So it's two to one as we go to the third. I am going to uh, reshuffle this because we are uh, pretty much out of cards here. So before we go to the third, think of this as the Zamboni driving around on the, uh, on the ice here. Got to do a reshuffle to get to get everybody. Uh, everybody can hit the bathroom and get a beer or a hot dog or something. And we can uh, pick up here in a second. All right. Okay, so on to the third now. So we got a 64, so that's going to be another chance. So we go one, two, three, four, five to the bottom, flip, eight. So this is a Red Wings chance. Red Wings chance, card four. Okay, so uh, eight, this is a slap shot from the high slot. They need an eight to score. And they got a 10. So they score again. That is the third goal of the game for Detroit. And we get a 94 on the goal scorer. And that's Glenn Couture. So we write in Couture. And we roll for the assist. 45 is Red Kelly again. Or Red Kelly. So he's got a goal and an assist now. And a 13 is Gordy Howe. So Kelly and Howe on the assists. And um, 55 seconds added to zero, you know, the first minute. So it's a zero 55 into the third period. Okay, moving on. Uh, 25, that's nothing. One to the bottom, one out. So that's two. Two now. Okay, we roll again. Uh, 66. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Flip. Okay, so it's red. That's another Red Wings chance. And it's on the 6. Not a lot of half chances in this game. Everything's been a full chance. All right, so let's, let's go a shot from the left end line. 
7 to 4, 7 to 14, well, it's going to, can only be a 12. It's a 5. So this is knocked away by the goalie, but we get a rebound. Okay, so uh, we go to rebound 1 now. So here's rebound. So we're going to roll two dice again, and we're going to use this to determine what happens next. So we got a uh, 11. So an 11 is puck in the crease, shot, foot save, rebound two. So now we're going to roll on rebound two. Same thing. This is a nine. Backhand shot, pad save by the goalie. So they get shut down. Turk Broda stands up and makes the stop. And that will end that scoring threat. And it stays a three to one game. That is the third card of the period. Okay, we've got um, a 25, which is nothing, so one to the bottom, one out. A 42, so that's also nothing, three to the bottom, one out. That's now five, I believe. Yep, five. Okay, 66. All right, so we have a 66, right? So this is going to be a scoring chance, so we're going to do five cards to the bottom and flip the sixth. Red, again, another red wing chance, okay? So we're going to draw from our sixth chance pile. It's another good opportunity. Drive down the left boards. One to five will be attacker is board checked and dispossessed. Six to 14 or six to 12 in this case will be slapped across the goal, poked in at far side of the crease goal. It is a six. This is a goal. Another goal for Detroit. Uh, so this is third period Detroit. Okay. Let's see who scored it. 73. 73 is Jim McFadden. We'll check for assists. We got a 20. A 20 is Sid Abel. His second assist of the game. And a 91. 91 is Kotor. So Kotor also with a goal and an assist in the game. As far as number of cards played, three, four, five, we're six cards in, so we're halfway through. And uh, six cards is 820. So we roll to see how much we add to that. We had 80 seconds to that. So uh, 6, 8.20 rather, plus uh, 80 seconds, that's um, 9.40. So 9.40 into the third, almost halfway through. Okay, 42, that's nothing. Three, put that out. That's seven now. Now we got a 56. So this is a half chance. One, two, three, four. Our eighth card of the and this is a Toronto half chance okay so it's the sixth one which is this pile we flip it snapshot from offensive zone face off circle so we need an 11 so this is going to be a really tough one to pull out and it's a five so a five is puck flies well wide so he fired but was off target okay so that goes out that was our eighth card I believe Yes, eighth card. I should use a timing mechanism, but I haven't. Uh, 56, another one. One, two, three, four. This is our ninth card. This is another Detroit chance. So this is a half chance. Oh, oh, we get a penalty shot. Long shot into the crease blocked, scrambled. Attackers awarded penalty shot for uprooting the net. Okay, so... Penalty attempt. Okay, we have a penalty chart for penalty shots right here. So we're going to roll. We roll a five. A five is a deflection saved by the goalie, so no score. That was our ninth card of the period. Okay, 66. Again, another chance. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, five on the bottom. We flip another red wing chance. Okay, so it's pile six, full chance. 
Okay, seven and higher is a goal, and it's an eight, so they score again. That is five. They are pouring it on. So this was last defender beaten on the outside. Wrist shot gives goalie no chance goal. All right, so now we see who scored the goal. That was our 10th. 76. 76 is Gay Stewart. And assists on 68, which is also Gay Stewart. And uh, 09, which is Gordy Howe. So Howe with the assist. Boy, that's poorly written. Now we roll for time. 36. Uh, that was our 10th card, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 10. So 10 is 15 minutes. And 36. So 15, 36. Okay, so Toronto's down five to one, and we're not gonna we're not gonna pull the goalie or anything like that with two cards left here. So we got a sixteen uh, a sixty one rather, which is another chance. One, two, three, four, five, and it's another Detroit chance. All right, so this is the pile one. Wow, um, pass into slot, wrist shot. So a five and above is a goal, and it's a six. So they score again. That is 11. All right, let's see. We get an 89. 89 is Leo Rice Jr. Or Reese Jr. Okay, uh, 15. That's Abel. And 22 would also be able, so that's a single assist. And a 26. 26 uh, at 1640 would be 1706. Okay, it's six to one, and there's only one card left, and it's a 22, so this would be an injury. Um, but that's the last card of the game. I'll roll for it anyway, even though it doesn't really matter. It was a five, so that would have been adding a match card uh, to the to the Red Wings, who didn't actually need one, considering they uh, basically destroyed Toronto in this game. So that would be a six to four final. I mean, a six to one final. Sorry. And uh, so Kelly ended up with a goal and an assist. Gordy Howe had two assists. Sid Abel had two assists. Um, yeah, so it's probably going to be Kelly Couture because Couture had a goal and assist. Kelly and Couture and maybe Howe or Abel as, uh, Abel had three assists. So Abel would be the, the third star, I guess. Um, Broda takes the loss. So Chuck gets the win. And that is how you play, uh, blue zone hockey. So, uh, basically, you know, the, the, this is a good, quick playing game. I mean, I know this took a little bit of time, but in general, when you when you're playing, uh, once you get the flow of the game down, it flows really fast. Um, we had seven goals in the game, which is a lot, um, or can be a lot. And every goal obviously adds time because you're adding rolls and you're looking at charts and you're you know writing things down and so on and so forth. Um, Typical game time for this game is probably, bet um, they say, between 7 and 10 minutes. And I can do it in, in that time uh, when I'm not trying to explain what's going on and, you know, the game is flowing and everything. Uh, it's a very, very easy game to learn, very easy game to play. Uh, you don't need, there's not a lot of overhead. Uh, it's very straightforward. I like it. Um, it's actually from the 5-6 system is what they call it. And the first game in that system was the beautiful game, which is a soccer game or a football game if you're in the UK or anywhere else in the world. Um, but uh, that game is an excellent game as well. It works pretty similarly to this one, obviously, same system. Hockey and soccer are different sports. The, uh, you know, obviously the terminology is a little bit different. The, uh, the flow of the game is a little bit different. Um, but in general, the system itself works the same way. There's also Rugby World, which is the same system, but applied to rugby. Um, that one I do, I do not have. I do have the beautiful game, and I do plan on doing a video on the beautiful game. 
Uh, my next sports video will probably be a, one on shootout hockey, which is another hockey game, um, because ultimately I'd like to kind of do a comparison of some of the hockey games that are out there and, um, you know, look at it, have a few videos of a few different ones. Obviously, we have a video of um, Hockey Blast, and Hockey Blast is in a different league um, in terms of what it's trying to accomplish than games like this one or um, Shootout. Um, but Shootout get, can give you even more statistics than this one does, and it play it also plays very quick. It plays in 10 to 15 minutes or so. So uh, look look for that one in the in the near future. And in the meantime, if you could, please like this video, share the video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. So that will wrap it up here for, for this episode. Once again, thank you for watching. My name is Joe, and this has been the Legend Sport Channel. Happy gaming.